Hi there, it's June 8th, 2016, and I just wanted to show you, I live right here, right where that little hand is, and I just got off of work, and the wind is blowing, and it's cold, and I saw a deer on the way driving home, and I thought that was really cool, but look at this um, radar shape, looks like sort of like a little tornado almost, but it's got these these three lines at one point here, and then these are merging. That's really interesting to me. I'm on the National Weather Service loop. I've got the big version. But look at this radar down here. That seems to just be exciting the air, if you ask me. And then all these blue areas aren't um, a storm, they're radar stations. Oops. This one here is weird, it's growing. This radar pattern is weird. So I'm going to go back and show you where I was at. Um, I'll just shrink it down. This is where I'm at on the National Weather Service. And if you click this link, you can make it bigger like that, which is pretty cool because you can see it much better. This is the right where I live, right there. This is the radar below it that is huge. And there doesn't seem to be any kind of a storm there. And if we go back a little more. Oh, it didn't let me go back. No, it won't. Let's try one more time. There we go. There's the... Um, <laughs> the warnings by county. So in this area, it's like just below me. Is a severe thunderstorm watch. And uh, dark red is flash flood warning. Okay, let's look at one more. This is IntelliCast. Uh, I'm going to get close to it. That yellow square means uh, wind. Oh, it's my computer's moving very slow. It's not reacting to that. <laughs> Come on, baby. Okay, and these this blue is hail. So it's just this interesting blob right here. But let's um, look at, as long as we're on here, let's look at the earthquake. Look at all these up here in Alaska. The biggest one, though, is uh, 4.0. So it's not too bad, depending on the area, um, as far as damage, as far as what it's causing, but right through here. And, of course, we still have earthquakes going on in Hawaii. And we'll look over here and see. It doesn't appear to be any in Europe. How interesting. And these here. Now, when I move the map over this way, I can't see those ones that were in Alaska. And when I move it, I can't see those. That's just how that map works. So this line right here divides it. The red are all within the last six hours. And then it goes orange, and then yellow, and then gray. And as long as we're here, look at the storms around Antarctica, which it never shows you exactly right on Antarctica, but it's a lot of storms down here. And for some reason, it doesn't show anything up in the northern part. I still like IntelliCast because of this one reason, which I will show you. Thank you. These triangular lines that appear, each one of those is 15 minutes. So.
I'm right here where it says Janesville. And then I know that this is, uh, or I mean, it's five minutes, five, 10, 15 minutes away from this spot. So I can predict that. But if you look at this one, right here, it must be moving much faster because look at the distance that this one goes in a short amount of time. So you can kind of predict the movement and the um, and the speed by looking at how big those triangles are. And that's one thing that I really like because uh, I can move and do stuff depending on how much time I have. That's really important to me. And then I also wanted to show you one more thing. Um, on here. This is act, active tropical track. And if you look down here, we've got these two systems going right here. And I, in my research, I found that earthquakes and tropical storms or hurricanes occur um, more intensely together. For some reason, it changes the Let's see if there's any over here. And there's this one over here, too. For some reason, it changes the electromagnetic energy, or, you know, maybe scientists just don't really know. But earthquakes and hurricanes or tropical storms do appear together. So I think with that, I'm going to let you go. I'm grateful for you, and I'm here at your service.